Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Transport Fever 2. From the last episode, you'll recall that we are in the process of delivering steel to the Cape Coral Machines factory. But a machine factory also needs planks. So today, among other things, our objective is to complete that supply chain. Let's get started. Okay, here we are at the Cape Coral Machines factory. And it, of course, needs planks. Well, let's just check where those suppliers are. Well, there seems to be a bunch of them. And what I'm hoping for is one that is pretty well the other side of the map. So let's just zoom out a little bit and let's check this one out here. The Victoriaville Sawmill Number 2. Well, that went pretty quickly, but the bottom line is it is on the other side of the map. So that's a pretty good choice, I think, to make some money for delivering planks. But of course, that sawmill is going to need logs, so we've got a lot of work to do to get this to happen. All right, so we want to head clear across the other side of the map. So I got a couple of choices here. I could go around the Mesa and the mountain, which would be probably the most cost effective. Or for fun, I could go straight through, which actually would be more as the crow flies. And we're going to have a tunnel or two out of that one. So why don't we make a more direct route to our destination? So I'm going to start by putting a little road in here, just a little tiny one. Just something that will help me place a cargo platform, actually a cargo terminus. And maybe something just like this to help me out. All right, and over to trains. And let's find ourselves a cargo terminus with one track. Now I'm going to make it 320 standard and no itinerary. So it's going to be a long one. And let's just make some adjustments here. And let's plop them right there. All right, now next we want to go through that Mesa and try to make it through this canyon as best we can. So for those of you who like tunnels, we're going to have some tunnels in this episode. So hopefully you'll get a kick out of that. And then I'm not sure if I can wrap around here. Maybe I can. I mean, we do want some tunnels, but not too many, to be honest. And actually what I want to do is I want to connect up to that existing track. So my goal here today is to use as much of the existing track as possible. I don't think I like that. That's going to slow down the train quite a bit. Oh, I should have hit the X. Okay, well, let's just get a refund here. And I think I'm just going to go right through that mountain instead of trying to go around it. And we'll go right through there. And again, I'm headed in that direction here. But I think I wanted some double track by about now. We've gone through there and gone through there. Let's say yes to that. We'll double up the track. And let's plop a signal in there. All right, and onward we go. And we're going to have another little tunnel here, just a short one, I hope. I'm going to connect up to this other set of tracks. Basically, I'm trying to use as much of the existing infrastructure as possible. Now, for some reason, it didn't parallel going through that mountain. That I don't understand, but it didn't do it. And here, I'm just going to connect up over here if I can. Well, actually, that's, it might be easier doing it from the existing track. So let's go that way. Yeah, that worked out better. And then similarly, I'm going to go over like that. There we go. And while we're here, I'm going to put in some signals. I'm going to put in one just before the junction and on that direction. And then similarly, just one before the junction in that direction. All right. So now we're going to use the existing track as much as possible to get to our destination. And just to give you some orientation, our destination again is going to be where? So actually it's over here at the Cape Coral Machines factory. So if I back up a little bit, that's this track here. We actually want to get over to that set of tracks. So we'll follow this existing set of tracks and then we're going to cut over. And probably the best place to cut over maybe is where there's the least amount of space in between them. 
Again, that'll take us right down to there. So why don't we do that? That seems to make the most sense, and I know I'm bopping around a lot this episode, but I'm thinking if I peel off where the distance between the two sets of tracks is the smallest, that that's probably the way to go. We'll make a connection here. And again, while I'm here, I'm going to put in some signals so I don't forget. Plop one in that way. There's a signal back there, so I think that's okay. That's going to work out just fine. And now we're going to make our way over to the other set of tracks. Try to make it as smooth as possible. Keep our train speeds up as high as we can keep them. Alright, then we're going to make this connection here. And once again at this junction, I'm going to put in some signals just to make sure we don't have any conflicts in the future. So one that way. And I've got another signal right up there, so that should do it, I hope. But we're going to follow these tracks all the way down to the Cape Coral Machines factory. So what I'm thinking is I'll get this new line to use a different terminal at this uh, station, or this cargo platform. So let's just add one track in here. And we'll bring it around. And up to this current junction. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect these two. So I got the game on pause so that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to break this connection. It won't like it. And then I can connect it right back up. Then I'm going to put a crossover in. And that should facilitate having two lines here. And maybe what I better do is put a signal in there, but this time it's going to be not a one-way signal. Because they're going to be going two ways coming out of that uh, cargo station. I think I have all the infrastructure in place that I need to deliver planks from the Victoriaville sawmill number two down to this machine factory. So let's set up the line. So we'll put a new line in and we're going to start here. And what do we want him to do while he's here? Well, for now, since we don't know what the train looks like yet and what's going to happen, I'm just going to go full load all, have him stay forever, and he's just going to pick up planks. All right, let's go back down to the machine factory, which is going to be the other end of the line. So we'll add the machine factory in, and what do we want him to do there? Well, we simply want him to unload everything. Now let's just check to see what terminal this guy ended up on. He's on terminal one. I want to move him to a different terminal. Oops, let's get him over to number two. There we go. And if I go back to the crossover, that should work just fine. They should both be going in the same direction, both the brown line and the green line, so they won't be running into each other. That looks pretty good. I'm going to call this line the Victoriaville Sawmill Number 2 Planks Line. A bit complicated, but at least it got a descriptive nature. Now let's go back to the sawmill. All right, so here's the sawmill here, and I need a train depot in this area. And I've got mises and mountains and all kinds of obstructions here. So what I'm thinking is, since I put the junction down there, maybe just putting a train depot in this area is the way to go. So we'll just orientate that guy relatively perpendicular and put a track in. And of course, we're going to put a signal in, and it is not a one-way. There we go. Now, I could buy a train right now to take planks from that sawmill down to the Cape Coral factory, but the bottom line is it's not receiving anything just yet. So really, you've got to bring logs in from somewhere to this sawmill. So let's click on the sawmill and find out who the suppliers are for this guy. And we have a pile of them. 
Now I've done a bit of scouting out in advance just to save some time and of course what I'm trying to do is maximize the distance and delivery and the other thing I'm trying to do is utilize the existing tracks that I have to the best extent possible. And I think really it's Memphis Forest number two. If I click on that one, it's way over here, almost at the other end of the map. And I could probably use some of that existing track to help me out. Now I know it's close to the town of Memphis and there'll probably be a station around here somewhere, but I think this is gonna have a singular purpose. And yep, we're gonna end up cutting through that Mesa, so there's gonna be another tunnel. Well, and I don't know, maybe I could cut them on an angle like that through the skinny part, that might be the way to go. So as I usually do, I'm just going to plop a little road in there to help me out. And then just connect that up a little bit. Oop, I kind of went the wrong way. That's a little better. All right, so now we got to get our cargo terminal in there. I don't know how fast the thing's going to load, but I'm going to put a big one in just in case this is a fast loading facility. I find that some of these suppliers load fast, some don't load fast, and I know there's probably some rhyme or reason to it, but I don't know what it is just yet. But I want to cut through right about there, so it's lit up nice and white. That ought to work. All right, so I'm going to cut right through there with just a single track at this point. And yeah, we got another tunnel out of it for you tunnel lovers. And then I'm going to double up the track and head this way. And we'll complete the connection. I'm going to make a double track that'll just make things easier for later when I have multiple trains, assuming that I do have multiple trains. I'm going to try to connect up that line as reasonably quickly as I can and try to avoid these farms. That should be easy enough. There's lots of space there. So that should be nice and easy. And I'll just double that track up and we'll keep going. To connect up to that line over there. We're going to need to create a junction here and I know I've got some signals here. I might have to make some adjustments there. Otherwise it might look a little funny, but we're going to give it a try. Yeah, it doesn't like that. And maybe it's not the junction that's the problem. Maybe it's how I'm connecting. But maybe if I went in like that. Okay, he's going to have to slow down, but I guess that's livable. Didn't want him to slow down that much, but maybe he's got to. That connection's a little wobblier than I wanted it. I think I can probably come in a lot smoother, so let's just give that one more try. See if I can come in just a little bit more smoothly and parallel. Wonder if that would help. Gonna come in nice and gently like that. And I'm wondering if that's gonna help me out. Then I'll go over here and connect up. Yeah, the speeds are a little better. Still goes down, but I think that's a better connection. All right, and while we're here, of course, we'll put it in a signal. Yeah, that's going to be one way. And maybe just before the junction, I better have another signal right here. All right. Now let's go down to the other end to the sawmill. So here we are at Victoriaville sawmill number two. And I'm going to configure this to add another set of tracks to it. So we'll add in some tracks. And I think I also need some platforms here. There's cargo platforms. Oops, that one didn't land where I wanted it. So let's try that again and plop that in. All right, so now it's got two sets of tracks. So we're gonna 
parallel that one up and go through. And I probably should have just made this two sets of track right off the bat, but I didn't think about it. So we're going to have to just go along and fix on the fly. And this is going to require some fixing. So yeah, so it's on pause so I can just blow that up and it's going to get mad at me for doing that. And I'll just reconnect those. And it didn't parallel there. Okay. And maybe what I need over here somewhere is a set of crossovers. There we go. And then back at the train depot, I guess I got to fix that now, don't I? Now that I've screwed it up. And of course, plop a signal in there. So I just want to check this line to see how many signals I have along the way here. I think this line here, the new part, doesn't have very many signals. So let's just put a few extra ones in. All right, let's go back to the other end to see if we need any more signals down there. Oh, we got a problem right here with the track. That's not what I wanted. Let's just fix that up here. Don't know how that happened. I guess it happened in my haste that I didn't uh, do that properly. So we'll fix that up. Make sure we got lots of track here. Okay, because a problem like that, of course, there, it's always hard to find if there's a break in the track later. And of course, down at this end, do we have a train depot in the area? Well, we have one there. It's going to take a lot of track to pull around here, so I think it's probably cheaper if I just put another train depot in here right now. Okay, we've got a train depot in here, and he's all hooked up. So now we got to build or construct, or however you want to call it, create a new line from the Memphis Forest number two mill, or whatever it's called, logging operation down to the sawmill. This is a logging operation. So we'll go new line. We're going to start there. And we're going to go all the way down back to the Victoriaville sawmill. And I'm hoping when I click on here that this is going to work and not give me any problems. Oh, I didn't get any warnings, which is exactly what I was looking for. So at Memphis, I think at this point, I'm just going to have him full load all and have him stay forever. I'm hoping it's a loading fast type facility. And then at Victoriaville siding, he's simply going to unload everything. And I've called it the Memphis log train line or Memphis log train. All right, back down to the other end. All right, let's buy a train to get these things moving. We've got another train here, the 442 Hiawatha, but it doesn't look as powerful as this one, the 4122 Class 9000. So I'm going to stick with that for the moment. And over to cargo. And we need a flat car with side stakes. And I bought 12 of those. So we'll buy that, and we'll assign him the Memphis log train while he's making his way out of the train depot. And he's headed for that tunnel. So maybe the next thing we need to do is to buy a train and assign it to the line that's going from the sawmill to the machine factory. And here he goes through that very narrow tunnel. Wow, that is narrow. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. And look at that, he's going to leave this tunnel, and not for very long, and then he's going to go into another one. 
Oh well. And into another very narrow tunnel. And out he pops. Alright, so he's going to take some time to load here, so we better get moving on other things. Okay, so we're down here at the Victoriaville Sawmill number 2. And the ratio is it takes two logs to make one plank. So we'll go over to the train depot and buy ourselves a train. And in terms of flat cars, I think I need... Hmm. What did I buy before? Capacity of 72. I think I had a capacity of 144 the last time, so hopefully I got that right. Buy that. And assign him to the appropriate line. And now he's going to make his way to the Victoriaville Sawmill number 2 Planks Train Line. Now eventually we're going to actually deliver some planks to the machine factory, but we got a very long supply chain here, so of course we got to get logs from Memphis all the way over to one side of the map to the sawmill. The sawmill's got to use those logs and take them all the way back, you know, take the planks back to the machine factory. So that's going to take a while. But maybe what we'll do is we'll let the game play for a little while and we'll come back and see how it's doing. Oh, there's one more tunnel for those of you who love tunnels. And we're back out of one there. All right, so it's now March of 1939. Let's let the game run for a little while, and then we'll come back and see how we're doing. Well, we might not have to wait as long as I thought, because here comes this Memphis log train. He's moving pretty fast. Well, of course, I've got it on fast speed just for fun purposes. There goes another train whooshing by. That was actually a pretty long one. Well, actually, the tracks here are fairly smooth, which is good. Another train going by. And we're going to go underneath that bridge that I put there in a previous episode for planning purposes. I just envisioned that in this area there are going to be a lot more tracks. So right now, I'm still using the same two tracks. For most, or if not all, well no, it's not all, for most of the lines that I've set up. Now, I don't know how many lines can go on in one set of tracks. It's probably a function of the number of trains the length of the trains, uh, the speed of the trains, uh, that sort of thing. It's probably a combination of factors uh, in terms of how many lines you can get on one set of tracks. All right, we got some tunnels coming up, so we know we're getting very close to our destination. That was the first tunnel, and I think we got maybe one or maybe two more to go through. I think it's two. And there we go through another one. And we're finally getting close to that terminal. That was the last tunnel to go through. All right, he's in there. And I'll just slow it down. He's taken off, and let's just check this guy out here. All right, he's loading up. So while he's loading up, I want to go back down to the uh, Memphis logging operation to see if that terminal is doing well or what's it doing. There's that line there. I'm going to go down there and see what's happening. Okay, down here at Memphis Forest number two, I keep calling it a logging operation. I guess it's Forest number two. Uh, I click on that. I mean, it's not overloaded yet, but we're at 469, so that is a hefty load. So I think we can take that train and increase its uh, capacity. Let's just find him, and we're going to do some adjustments to him while he's in transit. So I've added a whole bunch of cars here, and I don't remember exactly what the number is, but the capacity is 408, and that's the key number to remember. And it looks like my power is still good. So I'm going to modify that train. And when he gets back here, he'll be in better shape to uh, pick up a better load. 
We might have to clone him too later, but at least now he's got lots of capacity. So there he is there. He's quite a long train now. He's got a capacity of 408 and he's heading back to the forest. So if he has a capacity of 408, we better increase the capacity of the train carrying the planks. All right, so here we are at the Victoriaville sawmill number two. So he's loading up on planks. So I guess for now it's okay because I want him to full load and then take off. There's not going to be another load of logs coming for a little while. So maybe for the moment it's fine, but what we need to do is increase his capacity at the future. But for now, I'd just be happy if I get at least one load of planks delivered to that Cape Coral machine factory so that we can at least start manufacturing machines. It's now July of 1940. I'll let the game play for a little while and we'll come back and see how we're doing. So it's now September of 1940. And this train's still sitting here and the, looks like the logging operation, sorry, the sawmill has stopped producing logs and it has nothing stored. So if I just check on this train here, he just one plank short of a full load. So he's pretty well full loaded and probably should get going in order to make us some money. So I'm just gonna click on this line, manage the line, and I think at the Victoriaville siding, we'll just make a slight adjustment here for now. I'm gonna go load if available and put a time limit on it and see if that helps us out. And that sends him on his way. And we're on our way to the Cape Coral Machine Factory. So we're just heading over a bridge now and he didn't look like he slowed down very much at all there, if any. And we're heading now towards the town of Elizabeth where I have that wonderful bridge where I'm, for planning purposes, I put this big wide bridge in which may have been a waste of time, but oh, there's the junction. And we're now getting closer to the machine factory. And now we're hooking up to that other set of tracks. So now we're really not that far away. I think we have one more town to go past, which you can just see on the right hand side. And here we are finally, finally making a plank delivery or a load of planks to the Cape Coral machine factory. And if I click on the machine factory, that should get that thing going. And there's a puff of smoke coming out the stack. We'll probably have to make some adjustments to this line to account for the fact that we've increased the capacity of that train carrying the logs. But at least for now, we got a little bit of production going here at the Cape Coral Machines Factory. So of course, now the question is, now that we're making machines, where are we going to deliver them to? Well, folks, I think that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to note them in the comment section below. Well, where do we go from here? Well, the answer to that question lies in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.